what is the difference between SIT versus UIT? System integration testing versus user acceptance testing. System integration testing is nothing but where we are trying to test the overall integration aspects of system components across the application. But UIT, we will be concentrating morely on the end-to-end -end perspective for the complete system which we are going to test. So, how can we improve the UIT process is the next question. Yeah, in order to have a right UIT process, first thing we should do is, we should clearly define what is the UIT scope. That is the first thing we should do as part of uh, improving the UIT processes and we should have a clear expectation needs to be set with a clear and concise manner so that all the stakeholders are in the same page. That is the first thing we should do as part of uh, improving the UIT processes. Then the second one is, we should not uh, just keep executing only system uh, tests here because because UIT is morely a different perspective where we will be testing more of a end-to-end -end business flows. We will be concentrating on testing your product or system or app using the real world user roles and scenarios, not just like a system testing. That is also the key to improve the overall UAT testing processes. As a UAT, you should also consider the usability perspective as well. What are the criteria we normally expect as part of a UAT exit criteria? The first one is whenever we are exiting from the UAT, there should not be any showstoppers. There is no I or median defect should be open as part of the exit criteria. And also all the businesses processes, business flows should work seamlessly without having any challenges. That is the second uh, criteria for uh, UIT. All these criteria has been met, then there should be a separate meeting should set up called as a UIT sign up meeting where it involves all the stakeholders and get the buy-in from the all the stakeholders. When everybody is fine, then UIT team would be signing off uh, as part of the exit criteria. These are the three critical exit criteria we should look whenever we are signing up the UAT. What is the big impact we are going to make when UAT team is going to log a defect? In UAT, we focus on more on the real life scenarios, real data whenever we are trying to test the product. That means we are able to catch the issues at the earliest so that before putting into the production, we are able to fix all those issues so that we can reduce the overall uh, fixes uh, cost. What are the limitations of acceptance testing? The main limitations in the acceptance testing is we cannot test everything like all functionals or all feature as part of UAT because that is not the expectation as well. And uh, even uh, tracking the overall progress of acceptance testing is also not very easy because we are only purely concentrated on certain business processes, certain business flows. Because of that, it is not very easy to track uh, the overall testing processes here. What is the key role of a UAT lead or UAT test lead we can say? The main role of a UAT test lead is uh, he has to guide and monitor the overall uh, analysis perspective design, implementation, execution of the overall test cases and uh, test procedures in UAT testing. And you should also plan and uh, perform a script development. Sometimes you should be able to execute as well as part of the UAT test lead role.